Stop selling out. Stop selling out. You need to wake up and realize that on the other side of all of the fucking bullshit you keep selling out for is your wildest potential, your wildest dreams, and your best life. Either you live in your best life or you live in your best lie and you have to get past your massive dishonesty issue. Once you get past your massive fucking dishonesty issue, I'm talking about that is probably the most prevailing issue in all of society. Personal, spiritual dishonesty. You feel me? Lying to oneself, denial and rationalization at its fucking finest. Just that's a Sigmund Freud. So once you realize you have to stop selling out and only stick to your vision and give all of yourself, I mean all of yourself, to your vision and to what you really want. I'm talking about to the T, how you want to look, how you want to feel, how you want to be in this society, who you want to, how you want to serve. You feel me? Then lock the fuck in. Then get the answers. But until then, you're going to consistently sell out your vision and sell out for the smaller things in life, for fucking peanuts. You see what I'm saying? Like, not too many people in this world, and that's to the fucking world's misfortune because we need everybody leveling the fuck up, you feel me? Are willing to get past themselves and do the work that is necessary to actually manifest a vision that they truly envision. Me, I don't give a fuck. I'm giving it all up. Like, I'm answering something that is not of this fucking world, you feel me? Like, you have to start to listen to your conscience. A lot of y'all got really good at masking your conscience and that's why a lot of motherfuckers get high because when they're not high anymore and they start to become more sober and their brain starts to vibrate on a certain frequency they start to hear their conscience like yo you've been fucking up you down deep you deep in the deep in the deep in the waters you feel me you better make a turn backwards and then that level of regret right and that level of personal being ashamed be careful of people who tell you that they don't believe in shame, but be very careful of people who say that they don't believe in feeling regret because these are the people who have the lowest degrees of accountability to consequence. There's a certain level of internal reflection that is associated as a notification for self-preservation. You feel me? Or as a notification that there's consequence that is not in one's best interest down a certain path. But once you start to ignore that, neglect that, reject that, suppress that, get high and ignore that again even more, and lie and become dishonest, you're going to put yourself, because of your own ego, into a place you don't really want to be. And then years are going to pass by, your one life is going to be fucking down the road, you're going to be 40, 50, something like that. And as a product of your own ignorance, you're going to be somewhere where you don't really want to be, where you know you could have been somewhere else if you decided to just listen to your fucking self and stick to your vision and be the person that you were meant to fucking be and answer that energy within yourself. Everybody's connected to the universe. Everybody's connected to the higher power. Everybody is connected to the source. But y'all are not listening. The universe, not even the universe, the creator is literally giving you the instructions on who to be, how to be, so that you can be that better version that we all need to be able to participate and enjoy. Nobody gave a fuck, and I wouldn't even give a fuck about me when I was fucking drinking, pursuing pussy, alcohol, thinking out, you know what I'm saying? Like skinny as fuck, like I don't give a fuck. I don't want that nigga on my team, bro. Like fuck that nigga, bro. That nigga wasn't shit, bro. That nigga was always high, that nigga was always complaining, always on some victim bullshit, you feel me? But me now? 2022 Shiki? Yeah, I want him on my team. Why? Because he's gonna get up and get the work done. Why? Because he's gonna put himself beside himself and get the work done. Why? Because he's willing to make the sacrifices. Why? Because he has emotional discipline. Why? Because he's physically able. He could run 13 miles without no fucking cheerleaders. Plus, he could do 500 push-ups in a day, still do his business and handle everything else without fucking groaning, moaning, complaining, or griping. Right. I want that person on my team because that's an asset. But everybody else, when it's time to get some work done, they don't got their hands raised. They got their hands down and they shuffle in their eyes trying to not make eye contact. But some of us are answering the call and listening to the vision and answering something way higher than you on this earthly plane who are stuck on this earthly plane could ever fathom. Right. 
When the universe is giving you a conscience call and telling you to do something that's in your best interest, you better raise your hand and look the instructor dead in the fucking face. But most of y'all, like I said, are shuffling your eyes, trying to avoid eye contact because you want to do what you want to do. Even when I was in university, I was always raising my hand in class. So many people are so afraid to get the question wrong, motherfucker, I will make the mistake in front of everybody so that everybody can finally learn. But if we sit here for 30 seconds when the teacher or the instructor is looking for somebody to at least respond to the question, and we just wasted 30 seconds of everybody's life. So let's just do it. Like, alright, what happened? Like, what's up? Let me do it. Oh, ah, ooh, ah, right? The fuck, bro? Be courageous enough to stick to your vision. Be courageous enough to be honest. Nobody's walking around trying to be a fat, sloppy fuck, bro. Nobody wants to be around certain shit. And if you look at majority of the world, bro, and you want to be a part of majority of the world, motherfucker, and you want to be on that low-level shit, you feel me, pretty average. I'm not saying don't have a job. I'm not saying don't have a family. I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying be the best fucking version of yourself. Be excellent. You feel me? So many people are choosing just to be mediocre as fuck. And it's evident as hell. And when excellence is on its pathway to excellence, it has no time for mediocrity. And sometimes mediocrity can never understand excellence. And excellence used to know mediocrity until it said, you know what? I deserve more than this. So what's the vibe? You could be way better than that. You feel me? You think this shit is about some money, motherfucker? I'll be doing this shit with or without any type of recognition, homie. This is about saving people and getting you to get across that bridge so that you could be that better father, you could be that better brother, you could be that better uncle, you could be that better sister, mother, cousin, friend, spouse, community agent, right? I'm tired of people walking around on these low level complaining ass energies. Like this shit is whack as fuck. Step your fucking game up. So many people walking around here with massive amounts of talent, not acting on it and choosing to be fucking, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You making my universe whack by doing that shit. You feel me? You making the universe that I live in fucking suck because you fucking suck. And I'm making the universe that you live in better by becoming better. Wake the fuck up and realize like this shit is not about you. It's not about me. It's about us. YWY, your world is yours. I've been figured out my world is mine. We got to get to that level where our world is ours and we really manifest in our spiritual powers. This is crazy, bro. I'm really outside, bro. I'm really, I haven't missed on none of this. And this is legacy shit, bro. Legacy shit, bro. Can't take that away. This shit is fucking crazy. YWY, I'm showing up every day for y'all. Every day. Every day. Every day. Right? What does 245 mean? I'm going to get up. What does hitting these workouts mean? It means I'm gonna stay strong. What does not doing the drugs mean? I'm gonna stay internally strong. I'm gonna keep the integrity of my mind, body, and spirit in its one place. What does not running around doing all this other debaucherous shit and consistently doing the work mean? It means I'm giving myself to be a better value to my community. But you got a vision and you keep missing on it. Why? Because you don't want the discipline. Why? Because you keep choosing this lesser shit. You want to lay down, you want to watch TV, you want to either watch porn or try to get some pussy at a bar, drink alcohol, make yourself slower, more impaired. Come on, we don't need that shit, bro. And just because you're not ass out like the homeless man in the street, you know better than that individual anyway. You got problems that you're not solving. At least that motherfucker is so committed to that shit that they like, we outside, ass out, bottle in hand. What up, nigga? What? But y'all, y'all play both sides, you feel me? And that's the worst type of person. Pick a side. Either you're gonna elevate and rise, or you're just gonna be on that other bullshit, you feel me? And we want you to win. We want you to win. The universe wants you to win. It's gonna be me saying it, it's gonna be him saying it, then you're gonna go to sleep and it's gonna be that voice that I just told you about saying it. But when are you gonna decide to listen? If you want solutions, you want the blueprint, I got the blueprint. You need to stay on frequency with this type of thoughts, then that's what it is. Tap the fuck in. But sitting around complaining and waiting for life to get better is only going to allow life to get worse. And like I said, you can either stay with the mediocre group or you can elevate and evolve with the motherfuckers who's on that path of ascension. You feel me? All right. Don't say I ain't warned you. It's fucking 2022. All right.